Hello all, it is I, the Legendary Gamer, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. In the last marathon of an episode, we got multiple items to enter the next few temples. In this episode, we take on the first, the Forest Temple. I don't like this temple, as you can tell. First, in order to enter said temple, we need to not fail at getting the hookshot up onto this tree, and entering that way. Oh boy. Okay. That's one? Come on, Navi. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay. That was good. Um, right off the bat, you wanna... Okay, just making sure there's nothing up there waiting to ambush me. You want to make sure to climb up these vines and go up to this tree. Because what this version does that the 3DS version later fixes is that there is a small key atop the next one of these trees. In this version, there's no exact indication that there is said key. So... Yeah, pretty dickish. Unless you're playing the 3DS version. Which actually gives a little camera overlay, which displays this chest, which I... <sighs> Gloriously failed to get. Let this be a sign of things to come, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag right now. I can never remember these temples. Like, their layout is pretty much the equivalent of derp to me. So, I'm probably going to get lost. A lot. Especially in a certain, like, you know, aqua E palace. Temple. Whatever the fuck you want to call it later. And get your damn small key, because you're going to need it. There we go. Eh. <laughs> Take care of the Skulltula. Oh yeah, I forgot about their... parts. However, one hook shot can destroy them. Always want to be safe-stating here. Not to mention everything looks the goddamn same here. I'm not gonna lie. So right now we have... a troll moment. As that elevator right there could actually take us to the boss of the dungeon. But now they split off into four corners of the temple and now annoy the fuck out of us. Because now it becomes a wild ghost chase. You're going to have to split off into the four corners of the temple wherever and just get them. I saw a song of time block over here and I'm not going to let it just stand by. Yes, bottle it, Link. Bottle it! You know what, fuck it. Just gonna map this to the left, because I always have it on the left. How? I can never memorize the original notes for this, but now I just did it like nothing. Whatever. Whatever floats my boat. Whatever makes the odds ever in my favor. I don't give a shit. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I can't tell you how satisfying that is. Uh, every time. Okay, new enemy. Blue bubbles. Guard against them with your shield and knock them out whenever your, whenever the flames around their skull disappear. Um, in Majora's Mask, however, they would actually bring back the curse effect, which would make you unable be unable to use your. Shield. Uh, sorry, sword. There are arrows painted on the floor. Ah, another difference from many of the versions that many of you have probably played. Look look at the damn symbol and, and the blocks and on the switch over there. Is, right there is the moon symbol instead of the Gerudo symbol that many of you have come to know. It's another difference. They used a different symbol for this version of the game. And with the constant 
Ugh. Hearing of bats and other things floating around here, I'm getting annoyed. Oh, God damn it. This thing looks like it's made out of jade or something, I just gotta point that out. Or, yeah, because a jade block. Ugh. Come on, Link. Push it. Push it. Jeez, I know of Rider's Block, but this is ridiculous. That, that was a jab at me. Uh, I get Rider's Block, but like that really matters to this temple. Answer is, it doesn't. I can barely even remember what's up these ladders and up these platforms. I like can keep hearing our bats. And you know me. Unless it's, unless it's a man, I hate the sound of bats and more block pushing. Such invigorating gameplay, right? This temple is boring. Oh wait, there's no invisible walls here. This is not another temple. Wait. Seeing through the wall. <laughs> Hooray for me. I don't know where to go. I'm a lost cause. <sighs> okay. So fuck it, I'm gonna just go up. Maybe I should go up the jade block. Okay, good. Oh, and the music. Need to even mention the music. All it is is something like who a who a who a. That's my best representation. I really don't have too much to say about the four temple, except that I just don't like it. Not really. I don't really like the temples. I mean, I find, I don't find that to be particularly hard, like, per se, it's just that they can be quite annoying, and at other times, lengthy. Ugh. Fuck's sake. Fucking, fucking bubbles! Ugh. Ah, here's another dirt moment of mine. I need a key. I don't have a key. But yet I was led here. By a door. With a key. <laughs> Would that be a sign of things to come? Uh, nope. I am getting literally nowhere with this place. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go to another room and hope for the best. Maybe hope for a key or something, I mean, that was kind of stupid. And so is that! That my emulator likes to drop the frames! <laughs> I can never go a fucking day! And in this temple. Hold on, game. Hold on. C could you just stop for a moment? There you go. Now, can you be a good game and not drop the frame rate? I thought wrong, apparently. I thought wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, wow! <sighs> Let this be an omen. Let this be a damn omen. <laughs> Fucking Octorox. Bro. 
burn in hell. Suck a dick. Can't fucking reach that one. <laughs> Project 64, you're a nice emulator and all, but if you're just gonna keep dropping frames like this when I'm recording, then I'm sorry, but no. I'm not gonna have that. Okay, fuck that Skultula! Just. No! Why? <laughs> Just fuck that Skuzzle. Just fuck that one. <sighs> well, I love this game and all, but I never look forward to this part. Like any of these parts of the game. I really don't. I just don't. It just bore me to tears. It just... My personal distaste just grows. Shut up! Is that I mentioned how much I hate the Skotalus? Okay, the hookshot's a nice item and all, but its range is so damn limited. Press that switch. Drain that well! Press those key codes. Shoot those targets. Something about that specific enemy. Damn it! Uh, take off that panel. Rip off that panel. Again. Again! Many references later. <sighs> yes. Yes, game. I love pressing the button. That's why the action didn't respond. Either that or my timing was shit. I'm probably gonna go with that one. Because I'm not gonna lie. The animation didn't play fast enough. And my timing was shit. Well, fuck me. Ah, oh, gorgeous hearts. How thankful that you are there in my time of need. Aha, a key. Thank God for that. Now let's move. Come on, Link, climb faster. Just want to get this temple done and over with. And I don't like being in this place. It's so boring. <laughs> Uh, no, can't really do anything over here. Sure, I could have done some- any- Fuck. I, I probably could have done any, any of the other temples first. Sure. But I just want to go the order that I usually go in. Which is a little too mainstream, but I don't give a shit. Hmm. This is probably the entrance. I can't tell. And I hear Skultula. And I am tempted. But I must press on to see. Is this the entrance? No, it's not, because it has a frickin' bubble! Not a fan! Oh no, not this room. Not this room! <laughs> Sorry for my reaction. These are Stalfos. Lure it close and attack when he drops his guard. My problem with Stalfos is that you gotta get them their timing pretty much down. And these motherfuckers hurt when they hit you. Especially in Master Quest. In fact, if I remember correctly, I think they take off like four hearts per hit. Which equivalents to, to eight in... No, wait, no, 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 that's the Iron Knuckle. I don't know about Stalfos. I mean, just one is fine, but two? No. You see, now I'm a little less tense, because now there's one less thing to worry about. 
If I had the big Oron sword, I probably would have been done with them a little bit faster, but no, I was a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Sapphos. Oh, I'm especially not going to be a fan of Staphos in another room where we're going to encounter a Staphos. Fairy! Always could use more fairies. <laughs> Thank God. Need more fairies. You know, equip the Deku nuts. Just because I don't want to waste some fairies. Fucking bubble. <laughs> That's a good thing I went to this room, then. Are you up here? Miss. Epic miss. Ah, perfect way to get you to shut up. I know it sounds kind of pointless to go after these things and all, but, uh, I don't care. Eighteen. I already have eighteen of these things. And they think there are a hundred in this entire game. And people have actually gone after all 100. You people. I mean, thankfully, I already know the reward for doing so. And thankfully, I know what it is already, so that way I don't go for it, because it's entirely pointless. But whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Always satisfying to kill those Skotalas, no matter of any shape, size, or form. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> up, up. Yeah, I think I've run out of things to say. I mean, unless something happens, I've run out of things to say. Because this temple is just so invigorating. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of you who like this temple and all. That's fine. That's fine. Like, I mean, really. It's fine. You can like this temple all you want. Trust me. I mean, like, there are things that I like that people don't. Also, obviously. Everyone has that one thing. But I just really do wonder to those people what makes this temple so at least decent or good. This corridor is all twisted! No. At least it isn't a. This is at least it isn't Fee who was like. There's a hundred percent chance that this corridor is twisted. It's like it's like no shit. But but we're not at that game, so I'm not gonna go on and rant about it like an idiot. But um. Oh wait. This this part actually introduces us to a new enemy. But I ain't seen him yet. Screw that. So now. We have these portraits with, with the ghosts that just ran away from us. And we have this door. Knowing a Zelda game, what do you think I'm going to get from this door? Well, let's see. I'm going to get an even more annoying version of the of the Stalfless miniboss, which is a giant hole in the floor. I don't think you can walk on this thing. But he can. I don't, not, I don't know if you can walk on this thing. I don't want to risk it. Really don't want to risk it. Oh, two hearts! Still pretty bad. A few more hits and I'm done for. Come on, you other f You fucker! Booyah! Oh! <laughs> At least I have a floor! But now two of them. Again! Why, Nintendo? Why, why you do this? <laughs> why you do this? <laughs> there should have been a better strategy to these things. I know I gotta lure it in closely and all to attack it. But... The fact that they dodge too, it's like, they're smart, but I kinda don't want them to be. Just because I just want to get a move on. Is it really... Oh no, I just remember the worst thing about this room. If you don't kill them within a, both within a certain amount of time, one of them's gonna revive. 
Think of it like the Dawn and Dusk Masters from Pandora's Tower. You know, if you could actually get to them without A, the game crashing, and B, if you actually bothered to stand it, and... Oh, look at that! First case of model glitching in a long time. So yeah, besides that point, we now have the bow, and could I please just get it? Okay, now where did I just... Okay, what door did I just come from? There's two doors. What door did I just come from? I can't remember. Okay, I came to the right door. You have to shoot an arrow at the portraits. However, you can't be too upfront about it. What you have to do is keep your distance and basically take that ranged effectiveness effectively. And try not to miss. Like me. Hooray! Or ghost busting. Me and a new enemy. Joel, the first of the Poe sisters. Get close and allow her to use her fire. That way you could easily lure her out and make her reveal herself. Just trying to stay too close, like I am, like an idiot. Alright. And every time you defeat one of the Poe sisters, that torch lights up, and so does the torch in the main room. You need to defeat all four of those ghosts in order to, obviously, get the elevator back down. Keep moving on. Okay. And just as a backup, yeah, I'm paranoid. Can you... Alright. We got another one. You don't want to fire one of your arrows, just try your best to use another item. Keep your distance. I'll admit, their designs are pretty cool. And so is that fire. Colored fire. Okay, second Poe sister, Beth. Ah, lovely. Oh, personal spacer link. Ooh, we got a big chest. Gee, I wonder what it entrails. Da 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 da. Yay, more compass. Now we at least get to see which way we came from, so there's that, thankfully. That way I don't get lost, like a complete dumbass, and- Oh, wait! I don't have a key! <laughs> yes, game, punish me for not having a key, because- I don't have a key! <sighs> huh. Wait. Please don't tell me that that chest was the key. Because it's probably arrows. I thought it was... Oh my god, I thought it was arrows! I must be... Re 
you know what? I'm remembering the wrong chest. Plain and simple. But I feel like an idiot. <laughs> My fault. My fault. I thought it was arrows. I remember the wrong chest. And that's just me. That's just me. I may have played this game multiple times, but unfortunately I haven't played it enough times to literally memorize every single detail of every single dungeon. And I know I did the first three pretty well, but the first three were pretty much common sense. The actual temples, though, required a little bit more oomph. And ugh, Lawmasters. These things will grab you and take you to the entrance of the dungeon. Should they catch you? Don't let them catch you. Ooh, now we have green bubbles. Sometimes their fire will vanish. Just run into them with your shield and there you go. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a key. What, what, what is with this temple and keys? A little addiction do we have, game? Uh, <laughs> why must you miss the corner jumps, Link? For fuck's sake, just move! You know what? You know what would have been pretty useful here? Four Oars Wind. If only I'd actually used Four Oars Wind. I could have gone all the way back to the entrance of the temple because there's eyes that we can shoot with our arrows and maybe they'll entail a key for me. But now, I have to backtrack all the way to the entrance. We'll be right back. Hold on. I, I see more eyes and I, I just must shoot them. See what they have for me. Okay, that was the chest I'm talking about. Why? Just why is it there? That Link. Really. Just drop. Just drop. Oh, come on! I'm getting sick of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I really get, just get sick of that too much. I mean, seriously. It's starting to annoy the hell out of me with that hole. You can't survive, you can't really... Out to two jumps, there we go. Can't talk today. I'm an idiot. So shoot this eye. Really wish I had a reticle. And see what this room entrails for me. Ah. It was just the entrance to this room. Great. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try that again. There's actually an eye all the way over here. Actually, wait, let's see if I can just get these bubbles away from me first. You know, without them being annoying. They just know how to use Link's poor aiming skills to their advantage, and I hate them for it. I really, really do hate the bubbles. They just never stay still. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Holy crap, we just gave it the iron board. Ah, nice and clear. Hoopla! Oh yeah, take a guess at what we get here. The boss key. But we're not even at the boss. Drop! And more bubbles! Pretty cool, huh? It's just like that behind the mask is another mask! Come on, run into my shield. Ah. 
freaking bubbles. Giant Deku Baba. Come on, come at me. And you're dead. <sighs> ah. For my satisfaction. And crap. Ah, new enemy. Floor Masters. Once you're done with them, they'll split into multiple floor masters. Did I really just try to roll into that? Dropping magic because apparently the best way is to spin attack. However, if you have the non -ma magic wasting spin attack, then you don't need it. Basically, don't need it. But, don't need it. Oh. <laughs> uh, so all that for a uh, damn key that now we have to go back to unlock. I'm just going to do this. Booyah. And meet you back at the lock door. And now we return to our feature presentation. Did they make it so you can't make that jump? Oh, wait, I heard Wallmaster. I think as long as I just keep moving, that it won't do anything. Get away from me! Alright. Okay. <laughs> now I have to shoot the arrow into the torch and into there. Ready? Arrows. First try. And it twists up the corridor. Like if it, I could just get back to the hallway. Thank you very much. This door entrails. I hear gold skulltula. But I have to jump down to reach it, so screw that. I'm not going all the way back up there. Just gonna move on with the dungeon because I just want it to be done. Ooh. Yep. Watch out, the ceiling is falling down. Yep. And just like that, yep, the ceiling will fall down, and only some tiles won't be crushed. Better be on those non-crushing tiles, because that's the only way you're getting through here. And I'm very paranoid about crushers. Ugh. One false move, and you're done for. I can't even look at my view. Which means that any Skotalas that want to ambush me, they, they get a free pot shot. Nope, paranoid. Sorry, I'm not a fan of the free pot shot, so I was just waiting for the timer to reset. And getting the hell out of there. Okay, now we have a little bit of a unique part. In order to get the third post to start out, we need to push all these blocks into our image. Here's a problem. I'm not good at this. I'll fully admit that. I'm not good at this. So, just shoot an arrow into the portrait, and the puzzle shall begin. I will stress enough that I'm not good at this, so 
I will most likely fail this within my first try. However, here's some courtesy. Should uh, you... F <laughs> and see, that's one problem. Should you fail this puzzle, the blocks will stay in their same position. Which means that you could just easily get it back right there. And Link just does not push fast enough. Booyah. Third post sister. Amy. Um. Surprise, it's not pink. And this one's a little more aggressive. Oh boy, frame rate drops once more. A few more there. I think I just realized something. I'm almost done with the dungeon. This is actually going better than I thought. Let's keep it that way. Please. I, I didn't even have to look up Zelda dungeon for this. I'm not even kidding. Thank God for that. The less I have to do of that, the better. Believe me. For the, for the betterment of every single one, you, like, every single one watching, and me. Such professional level commentary from the legendary gamer, everybody. You gotta love it, don't you? Back in the main lobby. And... If we look here, we see that the fourth one seems to be crying. Probably because we killed her sisters. Nice little touch of detail there, Nintendo. I actually like that. It's pretty nice. But regardless, we have to get through. But this one is a little more unique, and the fact that she'll actually change up her strategy. How, you say? We just walk up. She gets enraged. Splits herself into four freaking clones. And now we have... Meg. Who you... Now, there is a strategy to figuring out which one is the real Meg. Problem is that I wasn't paying attention. As soon as the four Megs appear, the real one will spin. So yeah, it's pretty easy. The real one's gonna spin, and that's all you need to look out for. Keep your camera zoomed out so you can lock onto the real one and shoot her with your arrow. But good god is she vengeful. The fact that she changes up her strategy in a Nintendo game is quite already a sign to me. But it's still a pretty pathetic strategy. I mean, if the real one didn't spin, it'd be much harder to win. Hey, that rhymed! Ah, here we are. The end of the dungeon, and fuck you, arrows. Fuck. You. Arrows. For getting away from my grasp. Why would- why? <laughs> LOL, nope, we just have to have one more puzzle. We now have to push this wheel in order to reveal the boss door. I just don't remember how to do so properly. But first you gotta press the switch. I said press the switch. Which, I'm, which will pretty much reveal the boss door, should you actually be able to spin it. Unlike me. <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure there's something I'm easily not remembering, but whatever. And look at that, another switch. Switch on. Unintentional Common Rider Forze reference a go go. That was me.
And suddenly, Skotala. All it's guarding, I'm pretty sure, is a chest full of arrows. But bonus, we get a gold Skotala at least. And that's all right in my book. Just make sure that the boss door. Still not the boss door. Gonna push you once more. Okay, I'm. So much rhyming. Door more. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Holy crap, are we actually gonna do this? Hallelujah! We're almost done! We only have the boss! All we have now is the boss. Which seem to have chickened out. Huh. Funny. Let's get the hell out of here. Already had enough of... Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. Looks like we're stuck here forever. And... Final boss already? Nope. Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. He will jump into the paintings and come out another painting. And then unleash a big lightning attack which is all floor. It's a trick. Step on one of these Triforces here in the corner. He will not be able to hit you. He will make two of him. One fake, one real. Unlike me, shoot him with an arrow as soon as he reveals himself from the painting. Because I'm a goddamn idiot. Be on the lookout. He could be anywhere. He'll make a fake. Ugh. And I suck at this boss. Hard. Ah, oh, got him. You can't even tell which one's the real one until you, you literally exit out of the painting, and even then it could still be too late. From my experience, anyway. I'm not sure if there's any other trick. <sighs> I mean, if there's any other trick, I would love to know. But only if it exists, obviously. I... Oh my god. How the hell did I just miss? I feel like such a goddamn idiot right now. Okay. One last phase. But first, a bio. Enter his magic attack with an attack of your own. So it's time for an, um, a staple of the Zelda series, Energy Tennis! You know, if I don't suck at it first. Ugh. What the hell? What determines the trajectory? I would be using our trusty tennis racket, but, um, sword's just fine. Oh, god damn it, just die already! Come on, Phantom Ganon, hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Oh, yeah! That is satisfying as all hell. Hey, kid. You did quite well. 
Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Ladies and gentlemen, I have actually finished the forest temple. I guess my repeater playthroughs really do me some real good. And I loves it. So enjoy a slight info dump. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. Thank you. Because of you, I can awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it was destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. You received the Forest Medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. Funny, I thought the De Deku Tree was supposed to be grayed out. Eh, yeah, whatever. Ouch. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Dang. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kokiri, you're actually a Hylian. Or Hylan. I don't know the true pronunciation. So whatever, tomato tomato. I'm happy to have finally revealed the secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world. So we took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri. And now finally, Day of Destiny has come. You are a Hylian. You were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. 
That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Alright, now it's grayed out. Apparently that cutscene was... I don't know. Anyways, we're not done yet. There's just one other thing that we need to do. So... Transition! Meanwhile, back at Castletown! Yeah, these Redeads can't freeze you here. So, there's no real threat to them. <laughs> so anyways, why are we going back to the Temple of Time? Actually, there's something waiting for us here. So if we return to the pedestal of the Master Sword, Sheik is waiting for us here. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this for, to you for when this bad time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. Yay, a song about up and right on the D-pad. That really works with my D-pad. Exhibit A. You have learned the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Okay, what was that one much flashier than the others? That doesn't make any damn sense. Uh, but regardless, now we can return to the Temple of Time with ease. So, next time on Ocarina of Time, we're actually going to return seven years past because I'm going to tie up a few loose ends that I failed to tie up before. So I shall see you guys then.